Please hang up and try again. Hello. Okay, so part two of my purple mattress experience. Right now, I have slept on it two nights in a row. Um, the second night, I got my purple pillows. So this is the second purple pillow. I opened up the first one already, and I slept on it, but I just wanted to show you this one as well. So basically, it comes in the same type of case that the mattress itself came in. Um, it, once again, comes with these. So now I've got three of these. To show people um and basically this is the material that the purple mattress and the purple pillow are made of this kind of sticky honeycomb plasticky material it's very it's very soft it's very squishy it's very interesting i like it to play with it's fun um and then pull it out and once again it is in plastic it is a heavy pillow so I mean, these bags are going to be nice for me to use in the future. And then comes with this plastic. And once again, it begins to kind of inflate. Um, so I thought that there would be like a zipper. Oh, there is. So they, this zips. Oh, so the inside of this one is actually not that dark purple material. It's a lighter purple. Um, so that's interesting. And then it's attached to this purple backing right here. So this stuff is attached. And then it's got this kind of, oof, it's got kind of this, uh, this white pillowcase over it, which I guess is so that you can probably wash it. Okay. So let me show you. It is heavy, but see, it's very, like, uh, low profile once again. Um, so, like, here's my pillow, which, you know, is not very low profile. It's, it's squishy. Um, here is another pillow. I really like, this is a pillow that I got a while back. It's supposed to be a cooling pillow. Um, I think it works really well, but I wanted to try the purple pillows to go with it, so... Here is this pillow. Once again, not low profile. You see, this one is much more low profile, which I noticed right away. Means that when I lay this down, um, it's very interesting. It puts me right, like, lined up flat. Um, I was worried when I first saw it like that, right? Because I thought, you know, oof, I'm gonna feel like this, like like my neck is like not supported. But I actually feel really supported with this pillow. Um, I am, I'm really liking it so far. I like the bed as well. Okay, let me tell you about the bed. The bed, uh, the first couple of nights I have been slightly um, off. I don't want to say uncomfortable because I don't want you to get the impression that I am physically uncomfortable. I'm a side sleeper. I want to sleep on my left side because I read somewhere that when you sleep on your left side, it puts your organs in a position where you're not going to get like heartburn or something like that. That sleeping on your left side, um, your right side, your opposite side, uh, your organs are kind of going against the grain are falling in an awkward position and so sleeping on your left side will keep you from getting things like heartburn and stuff like that or um, digestive issues so i like to try and sleep on my left side if possible it's not something that's natural for me so it's something that i'm working towards um sleeping on my back has helped me a lot because i've got degenerative arthritis in my neck um from a hard landing many years ago uh on a deployment in the military. Uh, so I that's something that's never gonna heal. It's something that I just always gotta work at, finding a good way to sleep and keeping my neck and shoulders um, strong. So uh, sleeping on my back really helps and, and I found that sleeping with this, I feel aligned. Um, recently sleeping on my stomach has been difficult. I tend to move around a lot trying to find a comfortable spot. Sleeping on both sides has been comfortable. Sleeping on my back has been comfortable with this bed. And then sleeping on my stomach all of a sudden is comfortable. Because what I had found previously was that when I slept on my stomach, like say this is this is the bed and this is me, 
is that my back, I feel kind of like arched awkwardly and it creates lower, it creates back pain for me because I think that what's happening is that like my pelvis area is sinking into the bed as the bed gets older, um, which is one of the main reasons that I wanted a new bed because I could, if I couldn't sleep on my stomach, I knew that my bed was starting, the stability of my bed was starting to deteriorate. So that was something that I was looking for was a more stable bed. Um, so that so far, okay, so every position is comfortable. The reason that I was quote unquote uncomfortable, not physically, but mentally, I think was because number one, it's a new bed. And number two, with this being so low profile, all of a sudden the ceiling is further away. So my my perspective, my um, perception of my surroundings has all of a sudden changed. So it's almost like being in a hotel, you know, where you're in a bed, you see the ceiling and it's kind. it should be similar. Um, it feels a little bit different. Something feels slightly off. So the ceiling, I can tell, just looking up, I feel lower to the ground and the ceiling is further away from me. So I think there was just that discomfort from the change in my environment. The environment is still the same. I'm still in the same place. But um, my, my, it's, there, there's a small change. Let's see. I was wanted to know about the uh, temperature. So far, I have not woken up hot. I woke up one night warm, and I was like, oh, shoot, so maybe the temperature regulation isn't going to work for me. But I, I reached over, and I touched, you know, the mattress, and, and it's still, still very cool to the touch. And I wasn't sweating, and I wasn't um, the bed, the 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 sheets weren't wet or damp or anything like that. My pajamas weren't damp or anything like that. I was able to go right back to sleep. Um, so what I think is that when I was asleep, my body temperature was rising and so I was a little bit warm, but I don't think that what woke me up was that I was getting warm or that I was getting overheated. I think what woke me up was um, just the, the, the difference, the new bed, the difference in my surroundings. So, I'm going to keep trying it. Like I said, this is only two nights. And, and, and from what I understand, I just have to get used to it. And, and so far, I, I really like it. I am, I am pleased with it. And I think that this is going to work out really well. So I'm probably going to come back again um, in about five or six days and give you my one week check-in to let you know how I feel about it one week in and then maybe 30 days in. Um, it just depends. If, if there reaches a point where I've just decided, yeah, this is the bed for me or no, this isn't the bed for me, then that's probably when I'll go with it and try to kind of let you know. But for now, my initial assessment is that I like it and I just have to get used to it. So fingers crossed, this is, this is, this is looking good, I think. All right. Thank you so much. And I hope you will tune in and that this was helpful. If it didn't answer any of your questions, go ahead, post something below, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see when my next video comes out. Hit, hit, hit a like if uh, you thought it was a good video, but if not, you know, whatever. Thumbs down is fine too. But yeah, just give me feedback. Let me know what you'd like to see. All right, bye.